Hello YouTube, Arrow Assassin here today, and I will be doing a Vengeance PvP guide. So let's go ahead and get this started. First thing I wanted to show you guys is the glyph bender. If you're interested in seeing the glyphs, here's for the yellow wings, the fell wings, the tattered wings. Uh, you can change your spectacle sight and alter with fell or shadow. You can also change the shattered souls with fell or mana. And you can also change your emulate. So, I just wanted to show those glyphs. I know there was some for Havoc as well that was during that. But I wanted to show all the glyphs for anybody interested. So let's go ahead and start off with the talents. So, the first row, I would always go with Razor Spikes. It just is, it's a, pretty much a slow for Vengeance. And overall, I feel like it's just the better one of the row. Abyssal Strikes isn't too bad as well. It increases the range and it reduces its cooldown. So, it's overall, I think, this is the best one for the slow. So, I would go with Razor Spikes. Feast of Souls. Soul Cleave heals you for an additional amount over 6 seconds. Overall, I think this one is better for the, the 100 row. So, that's the only one I would go with with the 100 row. Um. This was recently changed. Fell Eruption was changed to this row. It used to be in 106 row. Fell Eruption was nerfed really hard. It was like 60% nerf to damage and it just hits like a wet noodle now pretty much anymore. So it used to hit insanely hard. It did need a nerf. I'll accept that but they pretty much overdid it with Fell Eruption. So until it really gets a buff I feel like it's not worth taking anymore over Fell Blade. So overall in this row I would go with Fell Blade. This one, I would go with Soul Rending just for the extra Metamorphosis Leech. Fracture isn't too bad as well, but I just like Soul Rending more. This one, this row got changed a little bit, so Signal Change used to be a baseline spell, but it now got changed to a talent for whatever reason, so I went with Quickening Signals just because it takes forever for them to go off and a lower cooldown, so helps a little bit more. Fell Devastation is what I went with this row just for the extra heal and it does some decent amount of damage. So that's what I went with that row. Last Resort or Soul Barrier I see many Demon Hunters try to pick between these two and I personally like Last Resort better for the extra cheat death type of, type of thing. So moving on to the next row Gladiator's Medallion just went with that. Standard, standard Trinket so, moving with that. Tormentor is what I feel like is best in this row, just for the extra burst damage with your taunt. Solitude, I did it for the extra damage increase. Of course, if you don't want to use Solitude because you'll be near so many people and battlegrounds and stuff, you can go with probably Reign of Chaos. Infernal Strike has an extra 10 yard range and one additional cooldown charge. Um. I'm really not sure why this talent is still in here because darkness got pruned from vengeance so don't bother with this anymore um, good job blizzard I guess um, this row is strictly up to you reverse magic or eye of Lothros I go with eye of Lothros because it's an extra damage against casters which is nice though if you want to get out of roots go with reverse magic everlasting hunt I went with this for the extra damage uh, during damage deals your uh, movement speed increase. Jagger Spikes was pretty strong, but they nerfed it recently. It's still pretty good, so you can use that. Cleanse of Flame is nice for if you wanted to spell all the uh, magical effects on you when you cast it. It was nerfed as well, so but it's still pretty strong. So either way, this one's strictly up to you as well for all three. But I went with the damage movement increase. This is probably my favorite row out of all of these in the PvP talent tree. Um, Illidan's Grasp or Demonic Trample. I went with Demonic Trample because it's by far the most fun spell to use on the game. Is It's just overall so much fun to use. You can go into your metamorphosis form and you can't attack anybody. You knock them down and you go at 200% increased speed. So if you need to run away really fast, Demonic Trample is your go-to move. Illidan's Grass is another fun spell to use. It was nerfed as well to a longer cooldown. It used to be 45 seconds. I feel like this spell would be good to use in something like Ultric Valley or 
I don't know, stuff like that. Maybe Altric Valley. I don't know anywhere else currently. Right now, where Elodon's Grass could be good. Maybe on... Or some Glitz Roof, Twin Peaks, second floor. I don't know. Just tossing out some ideas there. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the legendaries in case you're interested in some world PvP. Alright, let's go to Demon Hunter and let's go to Vengeance. These three over here, the top three, um, like the necklace and the rings and the waist, I feel like these three aren't as good, so I'm just going to skip those three. So let's go up to uh, Vengeance Demon Hunter. You gain 20 leech while Demon Spike is active, which is not too bad. The uh, initial damage from Im Immolation Ore reduces the Marion Gould on Fiery Band for 3 seconds for each enemy hit. Soul Cleave reduces the remaining cooldown of a random signal by 8 seconds. Metamorphosis resets the remaining cooldown on all your signals. And then last but not least, you take 20% reduced magic damage while Immolation Aura is active. Overall, I think out of all of these, this one currently is the best one because you take 20% reduced damage taken um, by magic and I feel like against casters that is probably like the strongest thing ever. As right now in my um, current artifact, I actually have. Let's see, oh never mind, I was thinking the wrong spec. My bad, I completely ignore that. So, anyways, um, but yeah, overall, guys, I think this is the strongest one. You take 20% reduced magic damage taken. Some of the other ones aren't too bad as well, like the leech one, maybe the cooldown reset signals. But overall, I feel like. The Emulation Aura one is the way to go for uh, Vengeance. I hope you guys found this guide helpful, and I'll see you guys later.